All right, yes, uh, just gonna do a little full review now after running this thing. I've put 30 runs through it and um, using these battery packs, you know. <laughs> yep, all of these. I've run through it, yeah, in a total of 30 runs. The shortest run was a 10 minute run when I used one of these and the rest of runs last 25 minutes to 30 minutes, yeah. And one run also was a very slow run. I got like nearly a hour out of it, but that's because I was running on and off and just doing some tests on this little thing here, the X-Rider Flamingo. Now, I'm gonna give you an insight to all the mods I've done, the changes. And I intentionally set up this, you know, little vehicle to be like a race vehicle, not just fun, but really a race vehicle. I, I get it long run time, it's got good speed, acceleration for punching out a corners, that kind of thing, an overall race grade machine. And this is the outcome. What I've done underneath is make my own skid plates, as you can see, and I've put like, you know, a protective film on the, underneath, uh, which yeah, is gonna get damaged, but that's my homemade skid plate. And, uh, I'll just point out some of the mods I've done as I go along. But if you notice, uh, my receiver is all set up on the back. I got another power capacitor. This is just for aesthetics, you know, a fire extinguisher. And I've painted, you know, the engine. I've changed the rear shocks and put on my own personal shocks. And I've put some carbon fiber over the braces and i've got another extra you know mainframe which i use because originally there's no brace here but this is just my personal bit so let's go through what i've done i've painted you know as you can see my own scheme so you can see you know the use you know like the chips and all that stuff and uh, yeah it's 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 really fun driving i've added like a metal mount and I'll try to give it up close, but I've took off the plastic mount and I've had a metal mount inside, as you can see. Keep it more sturdy. And uh, if you look closely down inside, I've also included like the, the, the metal plate in the front, the metal brace. I've taken off a plastic one and uh, I've also have the metal steering post on the inside. We'll get to that a bit more. But as you notice, I've put on my brushless ESC on the outside. And here's my brushless motor. Yeah. It's a 24 times 36 length. We are running 4,800 kV. And I've lowered the pinion also. Originally it was an 18 tooth pinion to the 54 tooth spur gear. And I'm running a 17 tooth. And it's still quite fast and a lot of acceleration. So this is what I've done aesthetic wise, paint job wise, personally. Yeah. Uh -huh. So to get into the inside, what I've you know, done is put the receiver so I can access it easily, but just Velcro, simply take it off. And then for the pins, I've made a little hook thing so I can squeeze. And this is how I've designed my pin. So both pins are there and I just simply pull and get it out. And as you all know, pull forward and just lift off and that's the body. So, this is all I've done. I've put a little Velcro, the spongy side on the top so the head doesn't get all that damage, you know, from bobbing around. First up, as you can see, I've made a little makeshift handlebar, you know, put in, to put in the rider's hand. And this is from a Tamaya part three from a TTO 2E part three. Uh -huh. So I've just bent, cut out a little T-section and bent it and created a handle and that's it. 
and this is the metal you know steering post so it keeps the front steady and I don't see any need to upgrade to anything else I mean you've got the metal legs and you know if I'm gonna upgrade anything that's what I'm gonna upgrade I won't change these these are quite fine the triplets and as you can see I've changed the servo and there's a video on how I installed this servo because you have to do a little bit of modification and I've also made a servo steering you know arm the, you know so you can see where it's bent and it's a titanium uh, so there's a video I'll, I'll try to attach the link and uh, you can see how I did the modification so that's my setup you know for brushless painted radiator and I've changed some of the screws the screws and put in allen head screws all around and some are also on the bottom just a few are still the Phillips overall I will have to say also the diff it's well built by X Rider because I've really put it through its spaces and it's still standing no issue I don't need to re-grease anything it's still working perfectly yeah still you know running really well and it's it's well well built and i heard a friend saying about um locking up the diff if you're gonna run this maybe for drifting yes but if you intend to race it and just have it for the fun i would suggest leaving the diff as is as is you know i wouldn't lock it up in all honesty i would leave as is you know now if you notice i've changed the front wheel I want to get to the cons of this thing. The servo isn't that good, to be honest. Um, it, 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 it'll tend to go after a while, and as much as this vehicle is quite small, people, uh, the steering put a lot of pressure on the servo and to the angle. And what happened is that I've actually rubbed out two tires completely. And here's one of the large tires I bought. I've got another new one and it's rubbed out and I tried to do a, do a little DIY recapping with cycle tube, which it's not going to last. It's going to begin to start here again. So I left it and then this is one tire I rubbed down and then I cut a old cycle tire and glued it over. It works fine still. So these are ideas you can have. And then this is one the original wheel that came with it that got rubbed down completely and I there's a rib in the middle I took the rib out so keep that in mind if you're gonna run on the street asphalt be prepared because the tires they won't last I've done a complete tire within like nearly you know the one run which is about half hour yeah so the tire material aren't that strong so what I did I tried some foam wheels first and they didn't work and I got some airplane, the tail wheel. Now, this is, um, I think it's a radioactive from Logic RC and it's a tail airplane tire um, wheel and you need to get a one and three quarter inch size and you just need to drill the holes a little bit bigger to four millimeter. This is a Dubro. So I got two Dubro, the, the, the rubber is a bit tough on the Dubro and this is the radioactive. It's a little bit softer but it works quite well. And you just re-drill the hole to four millimeter size to fit the, the wheel shaft. Now this is one wheel install and it runs good as if it's on bearings also. And I still applied the brake disc but you won't be able to use the disc. That originally comes with it you know you see I got a couple this year two plastic and metal you won't be able to attach that but at least it still looks the same and it runs quite well and lasts much longer and overall when you install the front wheel just make sure you get that spring action because if you clamp the wheel too much in it rubs on the inside of the fork legs and create a friction so you won't get much spring action from it so make sure when you put it in and before you tighten 
and it's a 1.5 allen head on two sides you know how well you can see here yeah. before you tighten them completely just make sure everything is seated inside and you can get that front action yeah and then you tighten and another modification i've done i've filed the inside and rounded the edges so as to when you install the batteries it doesn't tear oh okay hold on just bear with me a bit there so it doesn't tear you know the the, the heat shrink and it installs properly and uh, the battery lengthwise i would suggest nothing bigger than 65 millimeter across and 30 you know in height and width yeah so these these are some batteries that works perfectly keep in mind this is a really good fit the aromax this is the lrp so these batteries fit quite well perfect and these two together stocks quite well also yeah uh, so just to give you an insight on the battery size i've filed inside just around the edges and give it a smooth feel and i've widened this section a little bit more to accommodate the batteries so all in all it's great great little machine and uh, it does have the ability to take a lot of modifications a lot of different modifications and you can play around with the gearing and it's not hard to pull down easily access you know accessible to all the parts so there you go that's my little you know setup modifications to the flamingo and believe me it's something i enjoy driving every time i get out and everything is waterproof also so no matter how the rain is chopping it down or wet i can still you know go out and have a run if i feel like so keep in mind this is one of the real weak points and the servo other than that you can keep it stuck and run you know the changes to the you know the rear damper steer and the metal brace and the steering posts are personal choice but it, but it really does help with the you know the, 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 the handling of the vehicle it makes a difference because I ran it stock before and I could see the big difference on handling you know when I added the upgrade so yeah that's my personal little setup I enjoy it I love it fun little unit from X-Rider